you've heard the Kashmiri poem by Hab Khatun. I'm going to attempt um, to translate it into uh, English and I will try as best as possible to give you the meaning as well uh, which is nearly impossible to translate any language especially the older the language, um, it becomes almost impossible. But somehow the meanings come out. Karbali ranjom, alam sanjom, ganjanam sena sipare lo. Hartari ashikhan, baha soz vayu. Sui soz, matyamyayi, yaro lo. I too have ventured far and beyond, held the sacred verses to my heart, striking the chords of love in sync with my beloved. God knows this, so to say, God knows this. You can see it in there. Not some kind of a theological dogmatic uh, version, but a spiritual, uh, emancipatory, uh, life uh, um, uh, reassuring in terms of um, um, common denominators uh, as the litmus test. <clears throat> and the last one here now is, is, uh, is pretty uh, kind of this is I found this this one really like the punchline and when I was reading it it was like all over the place with this one. <clears throat> Pashan Pashan Marun Mushu Darun chum emigat kaare lo Sadmuer satmuer Shahmuer buchinas Namro yemi bazaare Okay, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, very difficult to translate but I will translate it and also try to give the meaning as best as possible 
wrecked in tumult i forgot death been so much in in the in the eye of the storm so to say wrecked in tumult i forgot death in peril holding on to every ebb and tide a fierce poisonous king serpent stung me reckless satmoir satmoir shamoir buchnas namaro me me baza smitten in wounds i hold smitten in wounds i hold you know as uh, as some of the poets uh, rumi says turn you, you know the, uh, the wound is a place where the light enters the body and then uh, you have asclepius or, or actually um, her mistress majestus asclepius is just one of his name or he he talks about uh, uh, that from his wounds has he known the healing of others the famous isclepian uh, rod of isclepius where by the, the two snakes as a motif um, uh, he's uh, taking their poison out in the chalice and actually drinking that uh, in order to find uh, the remedy within the poison so the darkness turns around into light we don't banish the darkness we don't hide it because what happens if we just we just um, subdue the darkness which is part of the human condition uh, it comes out in a, in a very negative way and most of the time also uh, it comes as as uh, as, uh, as its worst ag- ugly head in terms of xenophobia for the other the darkness is, is in the other you know i am the good i am the light that is a pathetic way to understand light because um, uh, one of the old socratic uh, um, uh, paradoxes is the only thing i know is that i know nothing uh, because if you have that clean slate every situation uh, you can see as it is then life can unfold you can create new solutions rather than uh, dogmatism and literalism and fundamentalism which has plagued the world in so many ways not in terms of religiosity but in terms of uh, scientism as well <clears throat> both are equally at fault currently leading to multiple problems in the world so um, <clears throat> i will leave it there because this can go on forever uh, until next time um, I will leave you with the thoughts of Habakkuk and all the poets of this world from different cultures wisdom traditions um not just Kashmir central asia india china uh one could name so many of them uh uh Lao Tzu from China and Dao Te Ching and uh, only 81 um <clears throat> sentences in his book which are become <coughs> one of the most treasured writings in the world and I've been trying to translate that for like over 10 years and I still I'm I'm learning it and it's so beautiful uh similar to Rumi or Hafiz or Rabindranath Tagore or Bulesha or Kabir Das from India or Ralph Waldo Emerson and uh, the transcendentalists from America um Emerson Thoreau and uh, uh John Muir the, the three trans- transcendentalists but because of whom we we have uh national reserves in the world well, they were the first to start it in America um, and it started with poetry with uh, John Muir eventually uh, Thoreau and Emerson established what what is known, what are known as the transcendentalist movement in America Uh, had it not been for these few archetypes uh i wonder how life would look <laughs> so i remain in gratitude with you that we have emancipation of spirit i wish you godspeed <laughs>